Dollar Ten is your local election headquarters, and in less than 24 hours, voters across the Ozarks will head to the polls to cast their ballots in tomorrow's general election. Caller 10's Josh Panetta is joining us live here in studio. And Josh, you spoke with the Greene County Clerk this morning. Now, what does he expect voter turnout to be? Yeah, Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler says he expects about a 14 to 16 percent voter turnout. He says normally it's important issues that drives voters to the polls, but he says school board races are a good motivating factor for people to go out and vote. Either your child, a grandchild, or a friend's children in that school system, you want to make sure that they're getting the best education possible. It starts right through the school board. Here in Springfield, seven candidates are running for three open positions on the SPS school board. Now, the board members will serve a three year term if elected. Now, another Springfield issue voters will decide on is changing the mayor's term from two to four years. City council members already have four year term limits, and if the measure passes, the maximum amount of years a mayor can serve is still at eight years. Now, in Stone County, they are hoping voters will pass an issue that would add a new ambulance district. Right now, there are only four ambulances serving all of Stone County. And if the measure passes, they hope to add two more ambulances and shorten response times. The ambulance district will be paid for by a sales tax increase of one half of a percent. Now, polls will open tomorrow at 6 a.m. and will close at 7 p.m. And if you can't, and if you know you can't vote tomorrow, you can head to the Greene County Election Center or the Library Center in Springfield to cast your ballots early.